Hello and welcome to this video about using enzymes in industry. In this video we're going to talk about how enzymes are used commercially um, in loads of different useful products both in the home and in an industrial setting as well. So we talked about in a previous video about how enzymes are used in digestion and some of those enzymes might crop up again in this bit as well. First of all, to make the enzymes that we use for industry, um, we use microorganisms, so for example bacteria. And what we have is a large vat of bacteria that we just grow and culture, and that bacteria would produce the enzyme that we want. And it would actually, if we zoom in on one of these over here, it would actually produce the enzyme that we want and then release that enzyme to the surrounding culture so that we can purify it and collect it. So if you imagine in here a massive vat of bacteria all producing the enzyme that we want and it's being um, let out of the bacteria into the culture around it and then we can purify that and use it for um, different products and literally put it into um, things like baby food and washing powder. So we'll go through each example in turn. First of all, in um, baby food there are um, enzymes called proteases and we've come across those before when we're looking at digestion and if you remember proteases break down proteins and in this case the proteases take long chain proteins and because it's a baby that's going to eat this food um, it just breaks those long chains down into shorter chains so it's easier for the baby to digest Obviously proteins are important for the baby for growth and repair of cells um, but they need this pro the long chain proteins to be pre-digested as we call it so they are broken down. Okay so linking back to here we um, culture some bacteria to produce these proteases, um, purify them and then we can put them into the baby food where they will pre-digest the proteins for the baby. Another one where they're useful is in biological detergents. Now you've probably seen and heard of biological detergents before but not realised what makes them bio. Um, the bio bit is actually because they've got enzymes in them um, and the enzymes that are in these um, biological detergents are things like proteases again and lipases. And if you remember from digestion, the proteases break down proteins and the lipases break down fats. So that makes sense. If you've got proteins or fats on your clothing, these biological enzymes can go in and help to speed up the breakdown of those substances that are on your clothes. What's important with these is that they're put at a lower temperature wash than non-biological detergents because if you remember enzymes um, have an optimum temperature that they work at okay anything above around 40 degrees C and the enzymes will start to denature if you remember from a previous video that's when the active site starts to break down and they no longer fit in their substrate anymore so the, the special relationship that the protease has for the proteins just won't fit anymore um, and it won't be able to break them down so above 40 degrees they denature we never say they die remember because they're not alive in the first place they're just folded proteins themselves so if you remember enzymes are just proteins themselves folded piece of molecule in a specific shape so moving on to a couple more examples then um, here we've got some sugar syrup and we've got that because we've got an enzyme called carbohydrates that um, turns starch into sugars 
So just like before, starch itself is a long chain carbohydrate and that will be broken down into sugar so you can make sugar syrup. Um, if you remember in digestion we talked about amylase breaking down starch into sugars which is completely correct and I mentioned at the time that sometimes they're more genuinely called um, carbohydrates, the enzymes that break down starch. So beware in your test that you might see amylase or you might see carbohydrates. Um, but amylase is the specific one that we talk about in relation to human digestion. Finally then, enzymes have a use in the slimming industry because there is an enzyme called isomerase that um, converts glucose or glucose syrup into fructose. Now these are both sugars Anything ending in O's is an indication that it's a sugar, like glucose, fructose, maltose, and things like that. But the important thing that isomerase does is it converts glucose into fructose. And this is important because fructose is much sweeter. So if fructose is sweeter, you need less of it in the food. So this is a really important enzyme which will do that conversion for you and it means you need less of the sweetener in your food um, so that's going to be good for any slimming products that you use. So as you can see the use of enzymes in industry is quite widespread. There's some tricky words on here to remember um, like isomerase okay because you know all these things could come up in your exam so really take the time to look through um, and also we just need to discuss why using enzymes in industry is good. So first of all, um, they allow reactions to occur at normal temperatures and pressures. So if you put enzymes into a reaction, it will help um, speed them up, but you just have to use the normal temperature and pressure. So that means you don't have to put loads of heat and energy into the, to the um, process but some disadvantages of using these enzymes are that um, they cost a lot to produce. We saw before the way the microorganisms will be um, producing the bacteria and that costs a lot to produce. And the other important idea like we've discussed is that they denature at high temperatures. So you for example the washing powder you have to use that at a certain temperature for it to be able to work. Also just like a catalyst because um, the enzymes aren't used up in the reaction they're just used to, to catalyze the reaction in some situations they can be um, reused which is obviously bring the cost down as well. So that is the summary of enzymes in the industry. If you found the video useful, then please press the like button below and feel free to subscribe for further videos.